Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm doing a video by popular demand. We're going to be talking about how to create a WordPress blog. Now in the past I focused on how to create a WordPress blog and post that out of social media. However today I'm just going to focus on the blog. In a previous video I showed you how to generate a blog from an RSS feed but that only had text. This is version 2. This is going to be much better, much greater, much bigger. My skills have improved and I'm going to show you how you can improve yours too. So let's get into it. So before us here, we see the make.com scenario. It runs RSS, several open AIs into Airtable, then onto WordPress where it will create the post. Airtable again where the image prompt will be generated before the image will be uploaded into the blog. Okay, so in the first module here, we have the RSS feed. This RSS feed is being pulled from this bundle which I've created on this website called RSS App. So you go here and you can see that this has several different sources, including my own YouTube channel, of information about social media. From here, it will be compiled into a single RSS feed. It's super cool because what that enables us to do is to be able to get tons of different sources, turn them into an RSS through this app, and then all that information about social media will come from one RSS source. You can do this with a single RSS feed, but I think it's awesome if you can collect as much information as possible so as some of you may be aware by now, I have a social media agency called Fizzy, which is a productized social media agency. And what that effectively means is, is that we want to bring an audience that are very interested in social media to the website. So I've curated this blog to be about social media. That's my application. If you had a blog about supplements, you could collect a lot of information and make a bundle on here about different types of supplements and the industry, perhaps anti-aging if that's your niche, and then you can apply the same logic. Once we've captured the information from the RSS, it will be fed into the ChatGPT module, where it says that you are an editor of a blog specializing in marketing, you're scanning for information, and you are inspired by titles on rival blogs, okay? So it's just so that it knows that the information is generated from other sources. I want it to include the URL to the original source within the text. And the reason is, is because when you create SEO blogs, you want links out of your page as it helps the page rank its information. And another important point to note is that in message three, which is in system, I want it to output in WordPress blog format. Now, what that will mean is that it will use different headers. So within the WordPress, you can have H1, H2, H3, which is actually also useful because the way in which Google reads websites, it will take header information to help classify and rank your web page. So you need it to be in WordPress format if you're outputting the information onto a WordPress blog, which we are today. The third module, which is actually to create the blog title. I'll just update this. This one's a little bit old, so I'll change it from GPT 3.5 into 4. It shouldn't make such a difference. And I wanted to create a catchy short title in title format. And again, please don't include any speech marks. There's a habit that GPT has of doing that. Then after this, we will create a web slug. Again, a hyphenated web slug so that we will have a URL address for this blog. Following on from that, we want to create a excerpt. So when you post on WordPress, it will ask for a summary. So this will be a short summary of that blog. And then here, we'll ask it to create a DALI 3 prompt, which will be fed into the Airtable. The Airtable will create that record. I actually have another video, which I suggest that you go check out if you just click here to see how that record should be created in Airtable. It's super simple. You only need one table. You don't need to know a lot of information. Just go on Airtable, create a table, and it's very simple and straightforward from there. If you just watch that video, 
you'll see how to do it. Super straightforward. Okay, then we want to create the post on WordPress and post type, excerpt, and all the information that we've just gone run through there. The only thing that is not included is the featured media. And the reason for that is because we're going to take that record and feed it into Dali. And we're feeding that into Dali from the Airtable. This is recommended as sometimes when you're trying to create a Dali prompt from a GPT module into Dali, it doesn't work. So I like to catalog it in an Airtable and then have the prompt fed into GPT from the Airtable. Change the uh, image format here you can see specific dimensions of the image and the reason for that is because the WordPress blog loves it to be output outputted in a particular format which is a particular size I've included the post ID in the file name the reason for doing that is that I want every single image to have a unique name. If you upload images on WordPress without a unique name, what will happen is the image will be overridden every time you upload. And over time, all your blog images will look the same because you're just re-uploading the image. And when WordPress draws the image into the blog post, it will just read the file name that's specified. And if you run this again and again, every blog, every post will have the same image. Okay, it's then uploaded, so it's created, and then it's uploaded to update the post with the new image. Also going to show you how we can connect into the WordPress module. So let me just quickly jump onto the WordPress here. So this is how we create a WordPress module. So we connect it through make.com. You search make.com in here. If you don't have it, you just press add new plugin over here. We search make.com. It doesn't have a great review, but this is the one that you want to go for. Okay, so you want this make.com connector. I haven't tried the other ones, but I can recommend make.com because it works for me. Okay, so once we've connected it, you will see it appear in the left hand column of the WordPress site. So if we click on here and we've got the API key, login enable, we save settings. We copy this API key and we put it into our connection here. So if we press add, you'll see that it will ask for an API key. And then you'll see here that it asks for a WordPress site. So I'm gonna show you how to do that too. You want to take this part of the URL it says admin and just pop that nicely in there and it should work okay and if you press save you will find that you are now connected to the wordpress module okay so let's quickly give that a run through and see what happens Now the scenario is run, let's quickly jump in and look at the output. So the blog, we're here. Unlocking marketing success with AI, a beginner's guide, a really cool example here. So uh, let's just jump into this and see how it's formatted it. We can see that it's formatted it in WordPress ready format. So this will be a H1. This is a H2, which is awesome because it's super good for SEO and that's what we're trying to achieve here. We want a blog that's going to bring traffic in so we need it to rank in the Google algorithm. It's also included the sources. I guess I'm going to fine tune this a bit later on to have it as links within the text but nevertheless for a first attempt it's not bad. So if we just click on one of these and we check Great, we've got Salesforce. What is marketing automation? Marketing automation is defined as. That's fantastic. So it's pulled the for, uh, sources straight from another website. So that's great. We can see that the output is awesome. We can also see that the AI has created a pretty cool image here, unlocking, I like the lock. And yeah, that's it really, that's perfect. And simple, super quick AI automation there to create a WordPress blog with links in it, with titles formatted for a WordPress that you can just go ahead and quickly use.
I hope you've enjoyed that video on how to create a WordPress blog with no code AI automation. So please don't forget to like, share and subscribe, share it to your friends if you think they'll benefit. I have plenty more videos to come showing you how to automate different parts of your digital marketing ecosystem. Have a wonderful day. I'll see you in the next video.